uh, yetu ama the digital uh, uh, flyer ambao tuliweka inasema ya kwamba ama andiko lile tuliweka kama theme ni Joshua 24 verse number 15 na ningetaka tuende pale because that is a key scripture ambao tutasoma na itatusaidia na ni sema ya kwamba wakati tunaongea habari ya neno dedication ukikosa kuielewa unaweza fanya kitu ambacho wakina mazao ukielewa nayo itazaa mazao katika maisha yako kuna vitu utafanya na utabadilisha maisha utabadilisha hali utabadilisha familia utabadilisha mambo vile yanafanyika so Joshua chapter number 24 and verse number 15 nataka nitumie lugha ya Kiswahili kusudi kila mtu utaelewa kile ambacho tumesema usije ukauliza jirani tulikuwa tunasema nini 24 verse 15 na this is a very common verse bibi anasema kwamba nitasoma kwa Kiswahili nanyi kama mkiona ni vibaya okay hebu nianzie msari wa 23 eh, for the purpose ya wale ambao hawashiki ni nini imesemwa hapo juu uh, kwa sababu wengine hatusomi bible sana basi sasa mcheni bwana mkamtumikie kwa unyofu wa mioyo na kwa kweli na kuiweka mbali miungu ambayo baba zenu waliitumikia ngambo ya mto na huko Misri mkatumikie mkamtumikie yeye bwana verse 15 inasema nanyi kama mkiona ni vibaya kumtumikia bwana e, chagueni hivi leo mtaka ye mtumikia kwamba ni miungu ile ambayo baba zenu waliitumikia ngambo ya mto au kwamba ni miungu ya wale wa Amori ambao mnakaa katika nchi yao lakini mimi na nyumba yangu tutamtumikia Bwana. Bwana abariki maneno haya. Praise the name of the Lord. Now something ambao ningetaka unote. Joshua walifika mahali ambapo there was a necessity to make a decision. Amen. Kufanya uamuzi Na walipofika mahali pa kufanya uamuzi aliambia Waisraeli chagueni leo yule Mungu mtatumikia either ni miungu ya Misri kule mmetoka ama ni miungu ya Waamori ambao mmekuta katika nchi hii mtachagua ni nani mtaka yemtumikia praise the name of the lord even as i go out of topic a little bit serving god is a choice uhusiano wako na Mungu ni kitu ni wewe tu unaweza amua hauwezi yamuliwa na watu bwana atukuzwe Unajua kuna watu ambao wanafikiri mambo samwe na hapo mbele yataenda yatabadilika. Hakuna kitu kitabadilika na huku mbele. Usipo kibadilisha sasa. Usipo kigeuza leo, hakitawahi kubadilika. Kuhusu wewe na Mungu ni kuamua utaamua. Na nitasema kukaribia Mungu ama kuwa bali na Mungu ni uchaguzi wa moyo wa mwanadamu. Usidanganywe na mtu ati kwamba kuna mahali asijui kulifanywa nini ndio maana uko mbali na Mungu hapana kuwa karibu na Mungu ni uchaguzi Bwana Yesu atukuzwe tuondoke katika lile turudi katika somo so Joshua akamwambia chagueni leo yule mtamtumikia mtaitumikia miungu ya Misri mtatumikia miungu ya Wakanani ama mtatumikia Mungu aliye juu lakini mimi na nyumba yangu we will serve the Lord as for me and my house we will serve the Lord Praise the name of the Lord. Now, if you don't understand what happened here, Joshua took a moment to dedicate himself and his family to the service of God. Akachukua muda kuondoa nyumba yake katika mahali ambapo hapajaamuliwa. Watu hawajaamua, hawajui wanataka kwenda huku, wanataka kwenda kule. Akajiondoa pale kwa kuweka nadhiri na Mungu nitatumikia Mungu mimi na uzao wangu mimi na familia yangu tutamtumikia Mungu jina la Bwana libarikiwe ninataka kukupea points kwa sababu leo nitakwenda kwa haraka kiasi ili uziandike they will help you i want to say this the importance of dedication remember dedication is a principle so the principle of dedication its importance in your life umuhimu wake Uandike mambo yafuatayo number one, it is to separate oneself spiritually ni kujitenga katika ulimwengu wa rohoni Bwana Yesu asifiwe I want to say this dedication is a spiritual uh, it, 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 is a, it is a spiritual occurrence ni tukio la kiroho it is not something that just happens anyhow or anywhere Somehow no it is something that happens because somebody somewhere knows what he is doing anafanya nini na ni jambo la kiroho kwa hivyo naweza kukwambia hivi 
you can dedicate yourself na physically ukose kuwa na badiliko lakini wanao kutazama spiritually wanajua unabadiliko i said another time there was a testimony i was hearing ya msichana ambaye aliingia katika ulimwengu wa mashetani and as she was serving the devil there was a, a recruitment agenda in the kingdom of darkness so wakatumwa kila mtu wakatumwa enda u recruit somebody enda uturete mwanafunzi mwingine bwana asifiwe sana so wakaenda kutafuta na mmoja akaenda akashika msichana fulani akamleta kwa ile nyumba mahali walikuwa wanaingizwa katika ushetani lakini alipomleta aliitwa kando akauliza huyu ni nani umeleta umetuletea nani kwa nyumba this person is unacceptable akauliza kwa nini ni unacceptable si nini fikiri mlisema anybody akaambiwa huyu hawezi ingia she was dedicated when she was a small baby are you hearing what i'm saying that dedication remained long after wazazi wameondoka msichana ameenda mahali wazazi hawezi fika lakini mkono wa dedication ulikuwa na uwezo wa kufika eleweni jambo hili dedication is a spiritual service it might not show results in the physical body but it has an effect in the spiritual world praise the name of the lord so even when we dedicate children nothing changes they will behave normal they will be children they will play like anybody else but one thing you can be sure of this in the moment of dedication yule mtu ni tofauti na watu wa kawaida bwana yesu asifiwe Unajua kwa nini wengine tuna na watu ambao hawabadiliki? Unaombea familia lakini mtu wabadiliki. Kwa sababu mtu pengine alifanyiwa dedication. Bwana tukuzwe. Ninakumbuka mtu mmoja ambaye e, tumeombea na tumemuombea kwa muda mrefu na wanisamehe kwa kusema hivi lakini kwa sababu wamwajui wao ndio tu wanaweza jijua. Tumeomba kwa sababu ya pombe na ulevi. Lakini tulipoomba sana tukazidi. Dio mama akaniambia huyu kijana alipozaliwa kwa boma kuliletwa wazee wakakusanyika na pombe ikanywewa na pombe ikamwagwa that guy drunkenness imemshika imemweza dedication because the day he was born the day it was declared even he was not on the ground he was somewhere else in the maternity praise the name of the lord but the father took men wakakunywa pombe wakamwanga ingine kwa shukurani ati kwamba ni mtoto wanabariki mtoto yule amesubua na pombe haitoki ni Mungu tu atasaidia Bwana Yesu atukuzwe when we talk about dedication it's a separation it is separate it is segregate haleluya so once there is a dedication in your life and i want to say there are various things i'll talk about the main, the areas of dedication that you need to know But I want to say basically one of the important thing that you should understand is that dedication separates. Somebody say separates. Say it again separates. Kwa hivyo tukiweka wakfu tunatenganisha. Kama vile Joshua anasema nyinyi mchague lakini mimi na nyumba yangu tushasema tutamtumikia Bwana. Na kweli ukisoma wale ambao walikuwa hapa the other day niliwaambia the house of Joshua served the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Angalia hana Hana naye si alifanya dedication ya kijana. Samueli akampeana kwa Bwana. Biblia inasema namna gani? Samueli alitumikia Mungu na uangalia hakuna wembe ulipitia katika kichwa chake. Neno lile ambalo Hana alisema katika dedication yake lilisimama hata wakati Hana alikufa. Hey, praise the name of the Lord. I wish you understood the power of dedication so that you do not just do it for the sake of it. Hallelujah. So number one, it is a principle of separation or it allows separation that is the purpose of dedication number two, it is to give to a deity ni kupeana kwa miungu ninatumia neno miungu kwa sababu you can dedicate to god or you can dedicate to gods just like joshua said you you choose whether you will serve jehovah or you will serve other gods First Kings chapter number 18 you remember the story of Elijah and the Israelis Alipokuja aliwaambia you cannot stand in between you are not in God and you are not with the world you must make a choice akawaambia chagueni na leo gojeni tuone Mungu yule tutatumikia jina la Bwana libarikiwe I want to say this it is a moment to give over to a deity chochote kile kinafanyiwa dedication kina Mungu ambaye anakichukua Mukipatia shetani atachukua. Ukipatiana kwa watu watachukua. 
ukipatiana kwa Mungu atamchukua ukipeana hata kama ni mali hata kama ni mashamba kwa Mungu atachukua praise the name of the lord so i want you to understand this it is to commit to all right it is to or the purpose another purpose of the decision is to commit to commit ni kama vile naweza chukua this bible ni kuambie niweke hii bible nimeenda safari nitarudi ukichukua nime commit kwako kwa hivyo nikienda sitakaa nikisumbuka i know i gave it to you and i wish you understood the principle paulo akasema ya kwamba for we know whatever we gave to god he can keep to the very end praise the name of the lord tukipea mungu anaweza hifadhi anaweza chunga mpaka mwisho bwana yesu atukuzwe so dedication is important it allows you to make a habitation for a god in whatever is dedicated and you can write that one down it gives room or makes a habitation for god in whatever or for whatever is dedicated uki dedicate mtoto kwa mungu umepea mungu mahali pa kuingia katika yule mtoto ukijipeana maisha yako kwa mungu you are actually telling god come and make a place in my life dedication nimewapea story kwa sababu mimi nimeona mambo Nilikuwa na dilu na kesi moja nililetewa ya mtu ambaye alikuwa na mambo mengi alikuwa amefanya mambo anakosea 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 mpaka mzazi anafika mahali akafa moyo lakini siku moja akaja wakati alikuja akanipatia story ile alinipea nikamwambia nenda wewe utafute vile utafanya udedicate huyu mtu kwa Mungu nikamwambia hiki kitu wewe ni mgeni kwangu sikujui Ninaogopa usije ukafikiri kuna sadaka ninataka utoe lakini nikamwambia I want you to be very free mahali unaenda kanisa because si mshirika nikamwambia mahali unaenda ili usije ukawa na idea ya wachugaji ya kwamba wanapenda pesa wana create ibanda za offerings ili wachukue sadaka nikamwambia go and offer where you come from akaniambia wacha niende nifikirie baada ya siku moja ama mbili akanipigia akaniambia ah mchugaji nilifikiria wewe umeelewa ni nini kinaendelea wacha nikuje kanisani akaja hapa tukaomba after a few days yule mtu alikunywa dawa ajiue bwana asifiwe sana lakini zile alikunywa nothing happened alikaa kama mtu amekunywa maziwa amekunywa ma overdose ya madawa type nyingi nothing happened Praise the name of the Lord. When you dedicate, you make a God dwell in the person, in the thing, whatever you are dedicating. He on the on you are opening a place for God. Akai. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uh do not worry because I'm rushing for the sake of nataka kukueleza yote na ili uyashike. Number what? Number four. Praise the name of the Lord. It allows you to make a choice. Eh? Huh? And the choice concerns both direction and the pathway. In other words, when you dedicate, you give the choice or you make the choice of the direction. When you have a dedication, for example, we are in the year 2022. When you dedicate yourself to God in the beginning of the year, you are actually telling God, I am choosing to walk with you in 2022. I am making a decision. Wewe ndiwe Mungu nitafuata katika mwaka wangu. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Lakini wale ambao unacheza tu na maisha na wakati nilijua hii kanuni ili nisaidia. Mimi huambia watu I don't teach what I don't practice. Kwa sababu nikikufundisha kitu nasifanye, ni kusema ya kwamba mimi ni munafiki na kuambia ukafanya na mimi sifanye. Ah ah, nataka ufanye kile ambacho nimegudua katika Biblia. Nimeona ni kweli. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yes. Kuna wakati nimewaambia hapa testimony zangu. Nikawaambia one time, nikastrago na watoto. Nikaona ya kwamba masomo inaenda ni kurudi na rudi. Mimi nimeenda shule mpaka nikachoka. Nikaenda shule mahali ambapo mwanangu anaso, anasoma na mimi ni pasta wananijua wananiheshimu wananiita kila tamu naenda kila tamu niko pale nikifundisha sasa mtoto hata akiremewa wanashindwa vile wataniambia utafukuza mtoto wa pasta ambaye anakuja kuhubiria kila weekend utafukuza aje eh bwana asifiwe wapendwa nimefika mahali mpaka nikasema yani unaenda shule mpaka unafika mahali unajulikana mpaka mwalimu tu akikuona eh unaoka umekuja Jumeshajulikana lakini ninakumbuka 
wakati mmoja tukiwa na mke wangu tukakubaliana this is beyond our ability and we took what god gave to us the blessing that we had and we took our children to another altar to a man of god tukawa dedicate kwa Mungu lakini niwaambie when i did that moyo wangu ukapumzika and i said the battle does not belong to me the battle belongs to god and i told my wife i am not praying about this matter anymore i have rested my case in the presence of god praise the name of the lord and i remember after i did that i came here and gave you a word and i told you one day i will give you a testimony praise the name of the lord because the way it looked it was a, a case about mu umefika mahali unaona huyu sasa ile aibu itakukuta hautawahi ogea hautawahi obea watoto wa watu wote masomo ate bwana ninafugua akili unafugua akili si ufugue za kwako kwanza kama zimekushinda za kwako za wenyewe unaenda kufugua za nini wapendwa nimefika mahali nikachoka but after that prayer i rested my case and i sat down and i said god you are in control praise the name of the lord and let me tell you the truth there was no shame she did her exam and got her grade that was quite good enough to go to university praise the name of the lord the other one followed and did an exam and did get a good grade to university they are all in college today as we speak blessed be the name of the lord when i talk about education i'm telling you about what i have done not what i thought not what i read in the bible praise the name of the lord nimeona mtu aliyekuwa amekusudiwa kufa akiokolewa na nini dedication mungu aliyepewa akaja akasema unywe dawa ukose kukunywa haziwezi fanya kitu wana tukuzwe maneno ya adui ya nenwe again it's your life but you are dedicated to god you are secure praise the name of the lord so it allows you to make a choice make a choice concerning two things i've said direction where are you headed utafika wapi utaenda na jia gani the pathway unachagua wakati wa dedication praise the name of the lord that is why joshua said as for me and my house we will serve the lord so that means hata ukifuata Joshua bade hata ukitaka watoto wa Joshua hata ukitaka kuwekea mtego uwafundishe ibada ya shetani hawawezi ingia they are dedicated to Jehovah praise the name of the lord ulizeni mtu anaitwa Belshazzar Belshazzar hiyo ni katika kitambu cha Daniel chapter number is it chapter number what praise the name of the lord let me check for you chapter number 5 there eh inasema vizuri ya kwamba Huyu jamaa alichukua vikombe vya nyumba ya Mungu. Akaenda navyo kwa, kwa nyumba yake. Akaanza kuwapea eh, Bwana asifiwe hiyo ni katika chapter 5 from verse number 1. Akaenda kuwapea watu na makahaba. Akawapea pombe anawaambia kunyweni hata hivi vikombe vimetoka Jerusalem. They were serving in the house of God. But I am greater than Jehovah. Kunyweni nazo. Wakati wanakunywa mkono umetokea umeandika kwa ukuta siku zako zimehesabiwa kesi yako imechunguzwa umeonekana uko na kasoro kuguza kitu dedicated kikaleta mkono wa Mungu katika nyumba yake si usalimie jirani umwambie i wish you just understood this uh, unamwambia kama mtu mdhaifu sijui kama ni njaa lakini mwambie chakula ni mingi mwambie i wish you understand this na uangalie huyo mwingine mwambie I wish you follow this story. Praise the name of the Lord. Aka, yani mkono ukatokea. Jamaa amechanganyikiwa. Anashindwa mkono. Sioni mtu lakini naona mkono. Anaambia wengine hamuoni. Wanamwambia mfalme nikulewa umerewa. Anawaambia mimi si mrevi. Dile mreu. Ni hali huo kwa kurandika. Wakamwambia sasa ila mtu utasaidia we ni Daniel. Die wa miugu hiyo inaongeanga hivyo. Danieli amekuja amemwambia Mufarume, "Woi, woi, 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 woi." Yaani I wish hiyo sinema inaweza aktiwa. Danieli vile alitigiza kichwa gai gai Mufarume. Unajua kuna vile unaweza maliza mtu tu bila kuogea kitu kubwa, ni kutigiza tu kichwa kwa woi, 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 woi. Anamwambia, "Mene." Kusema umepimwa. Mene, umepimwa mara ya pili. Take care. Umeonekana uko na kasoro parsin ufalme umegawanywa umepeanwa mfalme amesema Danieli sijui apewe nini usiku huo wamende wakaingia na waparishi wakamuua mfalme ufalme ukaenda kama vile Mungu alisema kuguza vitu dedicated praise the name of the lord don't take it as a joke 
We are not here for the sake of it. It is not just a service for the sake of it. It is a time to dedicate ourselves so that we choose the direction of our life. Hallelujah. We choose the pathway of our lives. Number Another thing that you should note is to plant oneself or to plant anything. Whatever you dedicate, you plant. Chochote kire una dedicate, una panda. Kupanda ni kusema na mna gani? Una kipea mahali, una kipea mizizi. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Wakati zaburi inasema ya kwamba, Psalms chapter 1, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. Neither does he sit among the scorners. He is like a tree planted by the waters. That is what I'm talking about. When you dedicate yourself to God, when you dedicate your family to God, you plant it in God. Iyo ni kusema, na huwa nasema, ni nani huyu mwenye nguvu wanaezaenda kwa shamba ya mungu kungoa ngoa? Huyu mwenye nguvu. Ni nani huyo? Diyo vitu zigine uwerewe. Kuna watu wata shetani ya kipitia iria ya kwenu. Anakupita tu anakuruka. Ni kama hakuoni. Lakini ni vili anakuagalia naona. You are dedicated. Uwe sasa uwezi ngolewa. Uwezi chukuliwa. Praise the name of the Lord. And I, and I wish you uh, wakati mwanja mungu wa nisaidie. I would like to add more on the same kwa sababu ni vizuri watu ku understand other factors. So it is to plant. Another thing that I would like you to note is to create connection. Hallelujah. When you dedicate, you give a connection. Or you make a connection. Tochote kide uta dedicate, usha connect. Kukonect na nani? To the person you dedicated to. Kwa hivu hata ukipea kitu mutu na dedication, usha funga na yule mutu. Buwana yesu asifiwe. Na diyo nitashauri hata vijana eh, katika maisha. Na siyo vijana peke yake. Mchunge hii dunia sahi. Kuna watu ambao wanatembea, wakifanyisha watu maagano, lakini watu wa wairevi. Mutu anakuambia fanya, 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 lakini uwerevi ni kujifunga, unajifunga. Praise the name of the Lord. Ni kufungwa, unafungwa. Unaambiwa sema, eh, tutafanya, tuta unasema tu hivyo, lakini ujui ni kufungwa, unafanya nini? Unafungwa ni dedication, unafanyua. Kuna watu ambao wametokea, ambao they are immoral, sexually immoral. Wanataka kulala na wewe, wanataka mulale na yeye Lakini kitu wanatafuta Si hata mulale na yeye, usaidiki ama kusaidia ah, Ni dedication anafanya Praise the name of the Lord Wapendwa it is good for us to take care In this life, yule utajipeana kwa mukirala na mtu na iwe ni yagano anatafuta Uyo mtu ni mfundi, ata kufunga Ata kutesa, ata kusubua Ukienda muketi na mtu kikao Lakini kikao kire ni kukufunga alikuwa na kufunga Kutoka pare akiri yako inafunguka Akiri yako inaerewa mambu ambao huku erewa bereni Unaona vitu hauku ona Mambu ambao hauku penda unayapenda Mambu ambao hujawai fikiri unayafikiri Dedication is powerful It creates connections Praise the name of the Lord Buwana asifiwe Ninawambia hivi kwa sababu take care of yourself Kuna vitu usigie dani yake Amen. Kuna vitu usigie dani yake. Kuna mambo usifanye. Kuna hata dini usikanyange. Usiende pare. Wana asifiwe. Mtu wamekuambia kuna mahali tunaombe yangu na hapa hivi. Kuna mtu anaombe yangu watu. Na naona, anaona sana. Unaenda pare, unaambiwa kabura hujaingia. Funga kitabaya yero. Roho wamesema ufunge ya nini? Unajua muna jifanya amujawa yenda. Yero! Mm, roho, yero! Unafungwa yero. Kutoka hapo, wewe utakuwa mfungwa. Akiri zinafungana. Hauziki kitu. Na unambua, funga mpaka masikio. Hey! Masikio. Na wewe ndiyo huyo, unafunga masikio. Kume masikio ambao unafunga kutoka hapo. Sauti ya mungu, haiwezi sikika kwako. Unaketi kwa ibada, lakini ya wezi sikia mahubiri, maana ulifungwa. Bwana yesu wa sifiwe. Toa viatu, roho wa mesema utoe nini? Na wewe unatoa. Kitu hauerevi ni symbolic. Viatu ni nini? Ni mamuraka ya kukanyanga mashetani. Hivo ni kusema kutoka hapo, hauna mamuraka ya kukanyanga pepo hata mmoja. Otaishi maisha haba utasuburiwa na pepo hata ile dogo. Hata ya homa huwezi ya bia toka itoke. Itakukaria. Sikuwa na wafudisha mambo hayo. Naona wegine. Ni mule muadhiye? Mume waifuga vitaba? Sasa leo ni siku nzuri ya kujifugua. Kama ulifuga kitaba, leo fugua. Wana asfiwe? Yes, kama ulienda hizo dini za kuonewa, ukaonewa mambo na ukaambiwa, mm, modomura ihu, haia. Hey, 
Hivi tu mtu mrefu nani hajawahi kutana na watu hata hapa tukisimama mnaona tumetoshana zote si kuna watu warefu na wafupi sasa jameni wacha mambo ya kudaganywa lakini unaingizwa katika kitu unaanza kuambiwa sijui fanya sijui fanya hivi wengine wana sifiwe nimedilu na watu ambao wameenda kwa ibada za waganga wakatoa sadaka kule kitu hawakuelewa ni dedication wanafanyiwa baada ya hiyo watu wamengangana wamekufa makaburi na jaa Bwana asifiwe. Kijana mmoja alienda mahali. Hata si kuenda, alikutwa na watu. Alikuwa anafanya biashara. Wazee wawili watatu wakatokea wakamwambia na tunaona umeendelea sana. He? Na umebarikiwa? Ha, unaonekana uko na bidii. Kijana akaanza kusimama. Yes, yes, eh, hey, dio, dio. Niko na uweza. Eh, hey, nimefanya. Akaambiwa sasa tunataka kukusaidia ku boost hii biashara akasema mnaweza nisaidia sana ninunue marori anga sijui niwe nafanya niwe nafanya akaongea akapewa pesa lakini baada ya kupewa pesa walirudi baadaye wakamletea document wakamwambia sign hapa akienda kutoa karamu akaambia ah tutakata kidole utasaini na nini na damu na haua bibi usome hausomi kwanza you don't read the document is written but you cannot read the only thing you need to do is to sign akakatwa kidore akasaini na nini na damu yake but wakati alisign na damu yake kitu hakuelewa he has already entered into a covenant with the masonic world praise the name of the lord baada ya munda walikuja wakamwambia sasa si unaona na biashara kweli report ilifanuka ikapanuka ikafika mbali mambo makubwa yakafanyika akanunua mashamba akajenga nyumba akaoa mke akapata mtoto maisha imeenda vizuri Walimwambia sasa tumerudi na lazima utoe sadaka. Akasema mnataka gapi nitoe? In his mind he thought they wanted money. So he was asking in terms of how much money do I give? But unfortunately they told him we cannot give you money and you give us back money. No you can't. You give something good. Akawauli sasa ni nini hiyo mnataka? Wakamwambia mtoto. Na alikuwa mtoto tu mdogo wamepata mtoto wamebarikiwa na kuambia in a short moment jamaa amebidi kusema hivyo akasign karatasi mtoto hakulala siku hiyo alikufa akimaliza kusign wakiondoka simu ndio hii mama amepiga simu oi mtoto ni mgojwa nimekibiza yeye hospitali akaambiwa kibia ninakuja by the time anafika lakini anajua mtoto si kufa anakufa ni kutolewa ametolewa kafara but the baby died baadaye akauliza walikaa tena miaka biashara zikapanuka hata kama mtoto amekufa biashara zimepanuka lakini baada ya muda wakarudi wakamwambia it is time to renew ni wakati mpya wa kufanya agano upya toa kitu kingine akawaambia hasa ni nini mnataka tena wakaambia mke wako saini hapa na ni damu tu unakatwa unasaini na damu mama hakulala usiku huo sasa kichwa ikakaa kama imeharibika because dio hii pesa manyumba nini nyumba ulijenga bedroom tano juu ya vile unafanya mapate mama amekufa utatoa pate wapi nani atakuja kwako umezika mtoto umezika mama nani atakuja kwako maisha imemwendea vibaya lakini pesa zinazidi pesa zinazidi magari akitaka ananunua hii ananunua ile anabadilisha hivyo hivyo maisha ni mazuri mwisho wao walikuja wakamwambia sasa lazima vile unaona bwana wetu amekubariki utoe the best offering akauliza sasa ni which is the best akaambiwa sasa the best ni wewe akakata kidole akasaini ni tena na yeye akafa mabiashara pesa ziko kwa bank mabiashara ni makubwa manyumba amejenga boma ni mahame ni makaburi the power of dedication because what he was doing he never knew i am dedicating myself he is just doing it for wealth and i'm telling you this the world ambaye tunaishi ndani yake sasa hivi people are doing anything to be wealthy take care of yourself lest you enter into a covenant that will trouble you in the mess in the future itakusubua na huku bere unafika mahali unasema oi mungu si unihurumie lakini mungu hapo hawezi kukuhurumia uliingia katika maagano na nimesema siku hivi karibuni nitawafundisha habari ya kuvunja maagano ambayo watu wameingia ndani yake because it is important praise the name of the lord so it creates 
connection. Uh, another thing ambao ningetaka kusema it abides a person with a covenant. In in dedication you bind yourself or you bind whatever you are dedicating with a covenant. Because in actual sense dedication is a covenant in itself. Dedication is a covenant in itself. So whatever you dedicate, you are actually making a covenant with a date concerning the same. Praise the name of the Lord. So hata wewe ukiji dedicate, ni kusema umefanya agano na Mungu fulani. Na huyo Mungu either atakuwa kwako ama atakuwa wako ama mtatembea na yeye na kile anachokula dicho utakula. Praise the name of the Lord. Eh nitasema hivi, if you look at Psalms 50 verse number 5. Psalms 50 verse number 5 My version says kwa Kiswahili eh hebu nisome kizungu na Kiswahili gather my saints together unto me those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice gather the saints who have given themselves they have made a covenant with a sacrifice praise the name of the lord Nikusanyieni wacha Mungu wangu waliofanya agano nami kwa dhabihu. Kwa hivyo wakati una dedicate unafanya agano. Nikufunga unafunga. Praise the name of the Lord. Na ni vizuri niseme hivi wakati natoka katika lile jambo the God you dedicate to can call what is dedicated to him. Can I say that again? The God you dedicate to can call what is dedicated to him. Mungu yule unapeana kwake ana uweza wa kuita kile ulipeana kwake. Manake ni kusema if you dedicate your wealth to God, God can call back your wealth. Hata pesa yako ipotee, Mungu anaweza command uletewe. Haleluya. I wish you look at it broadly. Mtoto anaweza kwenda akwambie mama ni sitaki kukaa hapa nimeenda. Mtoto anaweza ingia katika mambo but after dedication ninakuambia hivi and I wish you understand what I'm talking about. It is possible for you to go to the altar where you dedicated the person and call on the name of the Lord and call the person by name umwambie kuja nyumbani na atarudi. Lakini sasa wengine na ninaposema madhabahu si lazima ati kwamba uli dedicate hapa umuitie hapa. Ah ah ukifika tu mahali kuna Mungu, Mungu ambaye ulimpatia, umwambie Jehova niletee fulani nyumbani atamuleta. Fulani yule atafikiria hivi anaona sifai kukaa hapa, atakuja nyumbani. Wengine ni mtu anafika anawaambia mimi hata sijui nilikuja aje. Unamwambia umekuja na nini? Ni matatu, ni basi, ni nini? Anakwambia niona dira amenya. Mimi nimejiona tu nimeshuka. Unamuuliza ilikuwa roli ya mizigo ama ni boda anakuambia mimi msiniulize maswali mingi si mmeniona nisiulizwe maswali kwa maana si kuja amekuja ni kuitwa amefanya nini ameitwa the god to whom you dedicate to can command are you in the house can do what can command so mungu yule ambaye unapea umpee maisha yako he can command your life Praise the name of the Lord. Ndio wengine unagudua mtu anaishi maisha lakini asubuliwi na mashetani. Anakata shetani akifika kwake, anagonga gonga lakini anaodoka. Look at Job. I have read the, the scripture many times. Job chapter 1 from verse number 5. The Bible talks about and Job would rise up in the morning, offer sacrifices concerning his children as per their number. He never dedicated the children wholesale. Ali wa dedicate mmoja, mmoja. Lakini wakati shetani aliingia ameua watoto ameharibu mali si Biblia inasema ya kwamba and God restored the fortunes of Job as it was in the beginning. Hallelujah. Na watoto walimrudishia ama hakurudisha. Sasa hii ni maswali tutaulisha Mungu tukifika biguni kama ni kuumba aliumba watoto ama ni Job alipatana na mke wake wakazaa watoto wengi hatujui vizuri maana kuzaa watoto Biblia inasema alirudisha mara ngapi? Eh? Ni mara mbili. So kama alikuwa na wasichana watatu akapata wasichana ngapi? Sita. Kama alikuwa na vijana walikuwa walikuwa ngapi? Saba. Eh? Nao pia eh wakakuja 14. Hii watoto ni wengi sana kuzaa. Wana siwe sana. Na hatuwabii walioa mke mwingine. So ninasema kuna maswali tutajivua tukifika wapi? Salimia jirani mwabie dio maana nataka ufike ili ujibiwe. 
maana kuna maswali mengi sana uwezi yere. walipata watoto ama Mungu waliuba watoto wakaguka hapo nje watoto wagapi that uh, 20 bwana asiwe sana dabo eh nyumba ya ayu, ayubu ikaja hiyo maneno tutauliza lakini swali um, uh, swala ambalo nazigatia ni hili when a job was dedicating the children it looked no more there was nothing that seemed abnormal but there was a god who was always watching na hata wakati waliuawa mungu aliwarejesha bwana yesu asifiwe it doesn't matter what kills your son what kills your daughter what kills you if you have dedicated to god god can call back praise the name of the lord lift up your right hand and say together with me oh lord may you call back all that belongs to me in jesus name whatever you have dedicated may god call it back in jesus name praise the name of the lord so nataka kuongea kwa kifupi ni vitu gani vinahitaji dedications what requires dedications or what things should we dedicate to god number one i want to say people need dedication wanadamu wanahitaji dedication na si nimekusomea joshua 24 verse 15 if you read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 20 verse number 5 it talks about dedication ya, ya manyumba eh? so that's another thing that I would like you to note that the properties require dedication but let me first talk about people and I want to say this people begin from the individual level uji dedicate wewe kama mtu binafsi and I've also told people families require dedications Praise the name of the Lord. Familia zinaitaji nini? Dedication. Kama umeoa, umeorewa. Tafuta wakati upereke doa yako kwa madhabahu. Udedicate kwa mungu. Uwache tu kuchukulia da doa yangu itasimama. Ha, si ni mungu. Ha, ni mungu walitushikanicha. And what God has put together? Come on, somebody talk. What God has put together? Let no man separate. Okay, sawa. Hii dunia ni mu, aliabia watu wasiteganishe lakini pepo waziku wabia wasiteganishe ni wanadamu tu aliabia wasifanya nini wasiteganishe kuna forces za kuteganisha kuna forces za kupiganisha ndoa dedicate your family to God praise the name of the Lord dedicate your family to God as a family you stand and say God I and my house like Joshua we want to serve you ili kukosekane katika nyumba yako mtu ambaye ataenda kufanya dedication ya kishetani kukose mtu ambaye atawauza wana asifiwe eh? ninasikia ni mke wangu walikuwa na niambia the other day hadithi ya msichana moja aliona na niliona kidogo lakini misi kuona yote msichana ambaye anasema vile akona kila kitu kwa hii dunia magari yako naye naye anaulizwa at what cost anasema ili apata hizi vitu ame dedicate wazazi ame dedicate mandugu zake familia imekufa nafikiri amebaki akiwa peke yake familia yote ameua kila mtu utajiri yako naye magari yako na magari sita anaingia yenye anataka bwana asifiwe Eh? nyumba amejengewa ya kifahari lakini hawezi kanda ni yake kwa sababu ile nyumba ni ya kishetani na mashetani alikuwa anasema mashetani yako na wivu sana hawezi kubali ukae kwa ile nyumba hata yakikujengea hutaka lakini pesa yako nazo msichana eh? urembo amepewa sura ya kishetani na ninaposema sura, sura ya kishetani si sura mbaya sura nzuri ya kishetani anapendeza lakini ukimpenda atakuunda utashangaa dedication Si uombe mungu, you dedicate your marriage, your family. That none of your sons, none of your daughters shall ever get to another altar to dedicate you to another God. Isije siku moja, muanao ndi atakutoa kama thabiu, kama kafara kwa mashetani. Wana yesu watukuzwe. Hizi vitu ziko kwa hii dunia. Na siku hizi si munajua ni, ni, ni ulimwengu wa information. Information nata ukienda ugugo, wale wameingia kwa mashetani, watu wameingia. Makanisa iko ambao muhubiri munafikiri anahubiri na power ya mungu Anaangusha watu kuangusha anafanya mkono hivu watu wanalara kutoka pande hii mpaka hida Kumbe ni nguvu za giza Sisemi kwamba ni wote Kuna watu wakona mungu o, Of course kile unaona fake kuna original Amen Ukiona mutu mzuri Ujue kuna mutu mbaya 
Yes, hiyo ni, ni kawaida. Lakini nasema hivi, uelewe, watu wanaweza kuwa dedicated to pray for yourself, dedicate yourself to God, dedicate your family to God. Ili iwe ya kwamba hata kama mtoto wako anaweza enda kanisa kama hiyo, hawezi ingizwa kwa kitabu kwa, kwa vitabu vya kishetani. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. It is time for us to understand what we need to do. So, people require dedications. And I want to give you several scriptures that will help you in understanding the same. Judges chapter 13 verse number 5. The Bible talks about Samson who was dedicated in his mother's womb. Samson alitolewa the bihu na alipeanwa dedication akiwa katika tumbo la mama yake. So dedication inaweza anza hata kabla mtoto hajazaliwa. You start it there. Unaanza huko. Unaanza kuombea mtoto, unaanza kunena maneno juu ya mtoto. Vile ungetaka aende katika maisha. Yale mambo ungetaka atimize katika life. Uh, another scripture, First Samuel chapter 1 verse number 28. Uh, inaongea habari ya Samuel the day he was dedicated to the Lord. Hana alisema, not that Samuel was born. Akasema ya kwamba, if you give me a son, he shall be dedicated to you. He will serve you. No razor shall come upon his head. And that dedication stood. Praise the name of the Lord. Samuel haku nyolewa. Samuel alitumikia mungu miaka yake yote. Kwa sababu katika lide jam. When that dedication was done, it stood in the presence of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh -huh. Chapter 2 verse number 20. First Samuel 2 20. Inaongea habari ya the day when actually Hannah took Samuel to the altar and dedicated him with a sacrifice. Praise the name of the Lord. So, si hapa umeshika hiyo mandiko. Uh -huh. Romans chapter 12 from verse number 1. Bibire nasema hivi, therefore brethren, I beseech you by the masses of God, present your lives or your bodies as a living sacrifice. People can be dedicated to God. Even the New Testament requires you to dedicate yourself to God. Your body, your soul, your mind. Hallelujah. Utumikia mungu katika maisha yako. So, let's move on. Properties, that is number two, should be dedicated to God. All right? Deuteronomy 20 verse number 5 eh, And dedications are powerful Bibire nasema Kama mtu amejenga nyumba Na haja dedicate Aende yafanya nini? A dedicate Now, atie na asiende vitani kabra haja dedicate Asiji ya kafa Ifanyiwe dedication na mtu mungine So, what does that scripture teach you? It teaches you how God valued That dedication Go and dedicate your house You have built a house Don't just get into the house Kurugushuku ukondani Shetani anakuwa taki katika nyumba yako Ulijenga nyumba Ulifanya mambo Lakini shetani anapenya kwa sababu ni nyumba tu uliingia And I want to say this Even when you rent a place Please brethren It is good for you to dedicate whatever Ujiyo nyumba unaingia Ni ya wenyewe lakini dedicate Ifanyie maombi ya dedication God I dedicate this house to you As a Preach, uh, a traveling minister, sometimes I find myself in different occasions. But one thing I never forget, when I get to a room, be it in a hotel, even if you invite me to your house, and I'm spending the night there, one thing that I must do is to dedicate the house to my God. Mana misi juu ulipeana wapi? Ninaeza kuja nirare kwako, nifikiri wewe ni wa Jehovah, kumbe wewe ni wa? Upande ule mwingine kwa hivyo mimi huwa sichukuli jambo la kawaida nikikuja hata kwako nitalala nita dedicate nyumba kwa Mungu ili Mungu wangu anitembelee kwa ile nyumba Mungu wangu anibariki kwa ile nyumba Le, I don't want to take it for granted praise the name of the Lord I've gone to places and I know what I've gone through I have seen people who suffered because of spending the night somewhere praise the name of the Lord mtu akaingiwa na mashetani na ni mahali tu aliingia ka nyumba fulani akaketi kule Nimekuwa nikiwambia kuna wakati moja nilipatana na watu walikuwa hao nimekuambia diviners niliwafukuza niliwambia hatuwezi lala makao pamoja na nyinyi hapana hatutalala hapa mtakwenda kuna mahali pengine na huku and then murare huko lakini as for here hatutalala na nyinyi nifanyie mahali dedication nimekuja nimefagia uchafu kwanza na mikono maana hatukubeba kifagio ni jangwani Tumefagia, tumetoa mchanga, tukafungua mahali mtu wataingiria kwa kevu. Nimefanya kazi hiyo yote, tumeiombea, tumetakasa, ni kukaribisha ukuja uchafue. Ah -ah. Neka wafukuza. Buwana asifiwe. That's how I take it seriously. Properties should be dedicated. And when I talk about pro 
properties. I talk about even your wealth dedicated to God. I have told people, when God raises you to a new level, dedicate that level to God. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Kuna watu wa waerevi kile unafanya. Eh, udedicate hiyo nafasi kwa Mungu. Umepandishwa cheo ukabarikiwa. Mungu akakupandisha, kamushahara kakaogezeka. Dedicate to God. Why? Because that level, the devil is still at work fighting against you. Dedicate that level, that wealth to the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is why you should never take lightly the issue of giving in the house of God. Giving in the altar of the living God. Because as you give, you are dedicating your wealth to God. You are dedicating your resources to God. Praise the name of the Lord. Lakini ukiacha tu hivyo, shetani mutangangana, mutashindana. Utaajiriwa kazi unafika mahali, lakini anakushusha. Unaajiriwa kazi unaingia, lakini anakuagusha. Unakosewa una, una, una heshima uliambiwa uri, utapewa pesa hazikuji kwa sababu hauja dedicate kile uko nacho kwa nani kwa Mungu praise the name of the lord eh? so another uh, 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 another scripture that i would like you to note is Joshua chapter 6 and also chapter 7 those two chapters because if you read Joshua chapter 6 si walifika Canaan na wakafika kupigana na muji wa Jericho and the Bible talks about they went around Jericho how many times? Uh, seven times in seven days. And then the seventh day they went how many times? Seven times. Bwana aswe sana. Iyo ni mahesabu ya kuenda kufanya. Walizuguka marangapi? Kuligana na wewe? Eh? How many times? See in seven days waliyabuwa wazuguke once. Eh? But on the seventh day wazuguke marangapi? Saba, si mulifanya hesabu shule. Sasa hiyo ni mara ngapi? Eh? Eh? Hesabu zimepotea. Okay, 13 niache kuwachosha. Maana wengine wanajua 14. Sio 14 ni 13. Because the seventh day walienda 7 but the six days walienda Sasa si umeshika. 6 plus 7 13. God bless you so much. So wakazunguka mara 13. But now, in the same scripture, wakati Jericho ilibomoka. Wana sifu sana. Kuna mutu wanaitua Akan, if you read chapter 7. Akabeba panga ya dhahabu, na akabeba kabuti ya likuwa meona, na vipande kadhavi ya feather. Akaenda, akachimba shimu, and he buried them there. And God was angry with the children of Israel, to the point that when they came to uh, fighting in the next city that was I, the Bible says they were defeated in that battle. Walishindwa kwa nini? Mungu walisema kuna vitu mumechukua ambavyo hamuku stahiri kuchukua. For this is what you must understand. Jericho was dedicated for destruction. Jericho. The city. Everything there was supposed to be destroyed. Hakuna kitu ulipaswa kubeba. Kwa sababu ni dedicated for that reason. And that is why I'm saying, and you must understand, in dedication you also set the agenda. I wish you can write that one down. In dedication you set what? The agenda. What will be the agenda? Ninini watu wanaweza ketu wa discuss juu ya maisha yako? You can declare that in a dedication. Uweke agenda ya maisha. Agenda ya muaka. Agenda ya vitu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Pesa zako zinaezafanya nini? You can set the agenda. Pesa zangu useme I dedicate my wealth to God. Pesa zangu si za kulipa biru za hospitali. And it can work. Hallelujah. And it should work. Pesa zangu siyo za kuenda mazishi na matanga. Kira mutu wa nakufa, ninaitwa. Kira mutu wa mekufa, kwetu kuna kufa watu. Ninaenda mazishi, naenda matanga. Hata wengine huwa hatupu muziki. Unasikia tu mtu nimeenda huku ukikaka nimeenda huku ukikaka ah uh ah -uh. unaweza fikisha mahali you dedicate your wealth useme Mungu mimi sita kwenda matanga mwaka huu Bwana Yesu asifiwe Siendi mazishi mwaka huu nimebarikiwa I, I don't mean that is the only thing but it is good for you to understand So let me tell you this eh? in dedication of properties ukiangalia Jericho iliambiwa atakaye ijenga firstborn afe Ataka po mariza kujenga, second born, and last born samahani, afe. Now, did it happen? Yes. In the book of First Kings, the Bible talks in the days of Hiel, in the days of Ahab. Eh? Is it chapter 16? In the days of Ahab, 
he held the birthright akajenga ule muji maandiko inasema ya kwamba alipoanza kujenga first born akafa alipomaliza kujenga last born akafa last born son ni nini kilikuwa kinaendelea dedication it was dedicated for destruction so jericho muna ushuhuda second kings chapter number 2 Watu wa Jericho waliita Elisha, wakamwambia mtu wa Mungu, unaona mahali ni pazuri, lakini hapa ni kufa tu tunakufa. Hapa tunauawa tu, maji yetu yanafanya tuzae mapoza because the city is dedicated for destruction. Praise the name of the Lord. Brethren, don't take for granted. Wacheni kuangalia haya mambo ya dedication kama kitu kidongo. It's a great thing in the sight of the Lord. I want to tell you a story that I was reading uh, in a book that I think I shared it on our wall. Now if you didn't get it you can request for the same. Eh? Kuna kitabu kinaitwa Spiritual Warfare by somebody Richard Ing. All right? Spiritual Warfare. Anasema wakati moja there was a, a student uh, outing. Wakafanyiwa walikuwa wanasoma theology, wakaperekwa mahali, wakaone ni theology ama ni ni sijui kama ni historia, either one, one of the two. So wameenda, wakafika mahali wakaonyeshwa mahali the Incas. That is one of the tribes of the Native Americans wakaperekwa mahali walikuwa wanafanyiwa ibada wana wana, wana madhabahu wako na platform kameinuliwa mahali walikuwa wanaralisha mtu anakatwa anauawa because there was, there was human sacrifice in that land so wakaonyeshwa na jamaa mmoja akaambia mwalimu lakini ticha si ni mambo iliisha kwa hivyo hii hii kitu haina nguvu akaambiwa kijana hii hata ukiiona iko na nguvu akasema haina akaambiwa iko na nguvu wachana naye wachana na vitu hapa hata usiguze chote ah akasema hakuna aliruka juu ya jiwe ile jiwe mahali mtu alikuwa anarazwa anachinjwa akaruka si ni kijana tu barobaro aliruka tu hivi want to go juu ya jiwe akakalia akaenda akaketi alivyo squat hakuamuka alitolewa hapo na air ambulance akipelekwa hospitali amefungana kifua mtu mzima walikuwa wanaongea kusimama kwa ile kitu amegongwa na ugonjwa ambao haupone ninajaribu kuambia nini si ati kwamba nataka kukutisha nataka uelewe the power of dedication a place that is dedicated a city that is dedicated when you buy a piece of land dedicated to god praise the name of the lord uongee na mungu ambaye anaweza command ndege waangani wasikule kwako mungu ambaye anaweza command wanyama wa msituni wakae kwao wakule nyasi wasikule mahindi yako Bwana asifiwe. I wish you understand this. I was listening one day to Bishop Mark Mark Kariuki and he was giving a testimony. Alihubiri wakati moja, akahubiri, akaongea habari ya marking boundaries. Eh, hey, akahubiri. Mama moja amesikiliza tu, anasikiliza. Alikuwa mama mzee hivi. Alikuwa anakaa peke yake. Kasikiliza. Akaenda nyumbani. Akaenda akafugua buzi yake. Alikuwa na buzi moja. Akaifugua akaifunga na kamba akaizungusha kwa samba akapitisha akaiabia aka anaongeresha buzi shamba yetu inafika hapa huko ni kwa joroge ate huko ni kwa nani ni kwa joroge anampitisha ana akipika kona na nayo hii shamba huko ni kwa Otieno ndio ana e, huko ndio kwake akapeleka pande ile ingine akamwambia ni kwa nani na pande ile ingine akamwambia shamba yetu ni gani ni hii ukitaka kukula kula wapi hapa na akafugua buzi haikuwahi pita kwa mtu buzi ilikuwa inakula kwao haina kamba haleluya i wish you can understand this na wapendwa mnajua watu wa ulimwengu wanaamini hizi vitu kuliko vile tunaamini tulikuwa na mtu mmoja alikuwa ameajiriwa kuchunga ameajiriwa tu kuchunga na huko gishagi so as a shepherd He would take the cows to the forest and take them somewhere where there is good grass. Eh? Yeah? Good grass. Anachukua kamuti anapigilia hapo. Na anaenda. Hizo ngombe hata ukuje na nini aziwezi toka hapo. Zinakula within the radius. Radius ile ataziweke. Akiziwekea mita 200 hapo ndipo zinakula. Zikifika mita 200 hata kama nyasi ni mzuri aje namna gani zinarudi na huku kwa kamuti. Salimia jirani mwambie si uamini neno ushindu, ushindu, wache kushindwa na waganga Sasa wengine utukikwambia dedicate yourself unasema hiyo ni old testament wewe kaa tu huyo mtu ambaye ninakwambia alikuwa waria 
Hakuwa Old Testament alikuwa New Testament na hapa panaitwa Nyahururu. Wewe kaa hapo tu ukisema Old Testament. Lakini anafanya dedication na dedicate ka uwaja mahali nyasi zitakuliwa na ngombe haiwezi pita hapo na haina kaba. Lakini wewe kaa hapo na hii madharao yako in the name of Jesus ninajua kwa damu ya Yesu the blood the blood hii ndio imesubua kanisa ya Kenya sababu kuna vitu tunachukulia maanani lakini zingine tuna tunapuuza tu bwana asifiwe sana another thing that you should note that should be dedicated is days days or seasons can be dedicated praise the name of the lord And this is good for you to understand in the beginning of the year. We are in the new year. Every year learn to dedicate your days to God. Dedicate your year to God and say that this year will serve me. Praise the name of the Lord. This year will produce whatever it carries for me. Dedicate it to God. Wacha hii mchezo. Wakati wewe hau dedicate, wengine wana dedicate. Munaona hebu jiulize hivi. Kwa nini tumefikia wakati wa election watu wanakufa na kuuana ovyo ovyo katika taifa letu? Ni kitu gani kimeleta shida? Kwa sababu sisi wakati tumenyamaza na huko kuna wengine wame dedicate ni mwaka wa makafara, ni mwaka wa ibada. Praise the name of the Lord. So from that time wakati wamefanya ile dedication, unakuta maisha ni mbaya. Watu wanauana, mtu ameua bibi, bibi ameua watoto, anga sijui nini. Tangulini hii dunia tumeishi na masubuko mengine, wapendwa stress haijakuja jana. Hata mtu anaitwa Elijah alikuwa na stress mpaka akaambia Mungu niue. Sita jinyonga ni nyonge wewe. Huyo mtu si yako na stress ya kutosha. Mtu anaambia Mungu ni nyonge wewe, mimi sita jinyonga. Nyongea hapa hivi. Na anaambia Mungu acha nikwambie, wameuawa ni mimi tu ndio nimebaki. Tangulini mtu mmoja akabaki kwa dunia mmoja tu wapendwa huyu mtu ma stress ako na stress azijaanza jana tuache kusema ati watu ni stress wako nazo bwana asifiwe sana dedication ambazo zinafanywa na wapendwa mchunge kwa sababu ninawaambia mambo haya ili ujifundishe kuna dedication zinafanywa usikubali kuingia ndani yake wakati watu wanaingia katika kazi recruitment zingine zinafanywa party zingine zinafanywa orientation mnaenda orientation kuna ka orientation party Sijui kana itangwa nini. Mimi si kuenda huko sana, si kuenda corporate world, lakini si mnajua kuna kapate kanafanywa. Particular company ikiajiri watu wengi, eh, imeleta watu pamoja. Kuna hiyo ma orientation mnapelekwa kapate ili ufundishwe vile kampuni ufanya kazi, watu wengi hawajui katika hiyo kapate ndio mnapewa vitu ambazo zitawafunga. Ndio unagudua mtu wakati alikuwa anafanya kazi akiwa maskini, akiwa anangangana He was very good, very warm in the church, vibrant in the house of God, dedicated to serve the Lord, but after that party. Ndio unakuta mtu umpati kwa kanisa, anatuba tithe tu na atakupigia simu akiona. Basa wewe kuliweka kwa maombi. Sikupenda kwa kukosa kuja ibada. Mambo sio mengi. Salimia na iba umuulize, uende ikawa uko hapo. Lakini kitu haelewi ni dedication ilifa? Ilifanywa. Mtu aliyekuwa anafika kanisa asubuhi mapema, he cannot get to church. He can no longer worship God. He can no longer pursue God because after that that, that orientation there was a wine, some wine. Na yeye akasema siku nyangi lakini jua naambiwa this is company policy. This is company money. It is not your money. Ticket. Na kwanza siku hiyo mnasaviwa na yule ambaye ni boss dia na wasaf mwenyewe personally sasa unaona sasa nikikataa kukunywa hii ya boss alafu sasa anasema kila mtu asike grasi yake haya tuwabiane cheers na unfortunately boss anageuza kwako mna kuanganisha grasi na anakoangalia ukunywe na ye akunywe uko na ndo uko mweka hadhoni ukanywa ukimaliza kukunywa hivyo Kiroho ile ulikuwa naye ina evaporate. Ndio unakutanga mtu alikuwa mzuri, alikuwa na maombi mingi lakini siku hizi anaingia kanisa unasikia amesema baba. Kuisha. Azemi kitu kingine isipokuwa hiyo baba. Hizo nyingine hausikii nini amesema. Unasikia jamaa amerara, unaona tu akikutuka tunasema yes Lord, yes. 
Yes. Anaenda tu hivi wanaka anarara tena lakini mkiendelea anastuka tena na hara riba kandara raba lakini asemi kitu ine inafika tu hapo inakatika because baada ya ile dedication maisha imenda pande hiyo praise the name of the lord sababu siku zako pale haukuzidedicate haukufika mahali useme mungu nimeingia kazi wengine tafuteni njia tafuteni binu hii dunia isiwe isije ukawa mjaja kukuliko umeajiriwa kazi before you report si uambie boss umwambie ya kwamba i have a very very important thing to do before i come on that day because i want to serve this company wholeheartedly i want to serve this company with the whole of my heart i want to do everything the company does and i want to do it perfectly so allow me i will not come at 8 i'll come at 9 But as you go book an appointment tell you a pastor pastor let me meet you in the church let me come at six. praise the name of the lord some of us na mujifundishe tabia zingine lipa gharama mwambie mchungaji unajua saa nyingine unaweza ambia mchungaji anashindwa na nini wewe unataka mwambie mchungaji mimi nataka tu kuje uniwekelee mikono nikienda mahali ninaenda kazi amen uninene neno vile nitafanya kazi i want to dedicate my days there to the lord so you come through the house of god dedicate your service to god dedicate your service there to god and then you go to the company ukifika pale wewe ni mtu tofauti na let me tell you from the who the lord revealed to me deuteronomy 20 verse number 5 whatever is dedicated cannot be rededicated whatever is dedicated cannot be dedicated what does that one mean if i dedicate my job to god nobody can take it and dedicate it anywhere hata wakitaka hata wakitupeleka hizo pate watatupeleka lakini hawezi niona nitakaa katikati yao watakunywa pombe yao nitakachukua nitaenda niweke kwa meza na nipite hivi niende pale ile nyingine niseme nipeni maji nikunywe maji utaenda pale uambie i don't take wine i am a believer i will take a glass of water When you cheer, I'll cheer with water. Please allow me to take that. Or give me some glass of juice and that is what I'm going to dedicate myself with. Unafanya kitu. Unajiweka mahali. Maisha yako inakuwa tofauti because you are dedicated. Unfortunately, if you don't dedicate yourself, utaperekwa githioro wangurae hivi kupandishwa teremushwa mwekwa hapa wekwa pale mpaka watu wengine wanasema na ni kama Mungu hana nguvu. God is so powerful. Kitu haujafanya ni ibada unayostahili kufanya praise the name of the lord bwana yesu asifiwe numbers chapter 6 verse number 12 you will read that scripture for yourself or can we read together i think it would be easy for us to read together numbers chapter chapter number 6 verse number 12 eh inasema ya kwamba eh, kwa kwa kizungu and he shall consecrate unto the lord the days of his separation and shall bring a lamb of the first year for a trespass offering but the days that were before shall be lost because his separation was defiled if you look at other versions they say he shall dedicate to the lord the days praise the name of the lord dedicate what the days the season hapana angalia mwaka tu kuna miezi unaweza jikuta katika familia kuna mwezi wa hatari kuna mwezi wa kifo kuna mwezi wa magonjwa kuna mwezi wa mashida unaweza dedicate ule mwezi kwa Mungu you take it away from the enemy and give it to God and say this is my year this is my month it shall not be an august of death it shall be an august of blessings in my life praise the name of the lord lakini mkikosa kufanya hizi vitu ndio utashidana na mapepo wengine ya mwezi wa saba kuna familia moja nilikuwa naombea wanajua ukigojeka June July wewe ndio tutazika mwezi wa nane. they are very sure ukigojekea hapo wanajua tu hata wanaanza kukutayarisha tu anakuambia hii dunia unaweza pona ama ukose wanajua mwezi wa nane. tutazika mtu mwezi fulani kuna tokeanga kitu fulani mwezi fulani mambo fulani hutokea wapendwa let us dedicate ourselves and our days to the living god praise the name of the lord Now finally how to dedicate how to dedicate whatever you are dedicating eh ninaposema watu si tumeongea habari mpaka ya watoto si umeshika eh but dedicating days dedicating properties hizo zote ni muhimu kwako kuelewa eh finally i'm talking about how to dedicate eh number one eh oh 
rather, can I say this? There is something that I've left. Even the places of worship. Nehemiah chapter 12 verse number 27. First Kings chapter 8 verse number 63. Require dedication. Mahali pa maombezi. Mahali pa mungu. Let me tell you this. You may not know that, but those who have been here for long, they know in every work that happens in this house, we rededicate the house to God. When we built the structure, we dedicated to God. The first one, we dedicated to God. The second one, we dedicated to God. When we finished building this altar here, we dedicated it to God. We had a time to pray for the altar, that it shall be a place of life. Hallelujah. Where is the matter? Because I see you going to come on. Gusini kwake. Ata niye tu mejeke. Where where? Watuare wadireta pesa zakujenga. Where gine wadireta pesa wakiwa metoa wapi? Ujui dedicate. Bwana tu kuzwe. Yes. Mutu akisikia kujenga. Si ata mufan me kureshi alipeana vitu vya kujenga mungu nyumba. Alipeana vitu kureshi ameokoka. Haja okoka ata si mutu mishi wa mungu ni mupashia. Rakini ya metoa. Kwa hivyo uwezi fikisha ukasema ni za mungu. Ah ah dedicate. Aujui kure zidi torewa. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, for the sake of time, I want to say this. Nimesema Nehemiah chapter 12 verse number 27. Walipo maliza kujenga ukuta wa Jerusalem. Walifanya dedication kwa mungu. Mijengo ifanyiwe dedication. So how to, how to dedicate. I want to reread the scripture. Psalms 50 verse number 5. The Bible says, let my people gather before me. Those who have dedicated themselves through covenants. Alright? So, one of the things that I would like you to note is making a covenant with the God. You can dedicate yourself by making a covenant to God. Ujipeane kwa mungu kwa kufanya agano na ye. Na agano unafanya na mnagani kuna maeneo mawiri ambao ningetaka kufanya kusema through sacrifices all right sacrifice is a way of making a covenant with the god as you have heard in that scripture so there are two major uh, sacrifices that i would like to talk about one sacrifice is the sacrifice of your body the sacrifice of yourself amen sadaka ya mwili wako Sadaka ya maisha yako, uhai wako, nafsi yako. Give yourself to God is a sacrifice. Iyo ni kusema wakati unafanya mambo, hautafanya kama dunia, hautafanya kama ulimwengu. You do things with a different because you are dedicated to God. Praise the name of the Lord. You are body as a living sacrifice. Remember also Romans chapter 12 from verse number 1 is another scripture. And number 2 katika the sacrifices is the sacrifices of resources. Huh? Marizide mungu wa mekupa, you can make a covenant with them before the Lord. Marizide mungu wa mekupa. You can bring a sacrifice as a sign of my dedication. Praise the name of the Lord. Bibiria, sina wakatu wa kuwasomea, mandiko ni mengi, huku kule katika kwa mfano Deuteronomy, utasoma mandiko Numbers, Leviticus, utaona ya kwamba, mutu aliekua anajidedicate. Ata adiku ambaro ni metaja, nafikiri ata nisha kusomea, Eh, katika kitabu cha number 6 verse number 12 Bibiria nasema kwamba he shall stand before the Lord with a sacrifice praise the name of the Lord and with that sacrifice ndiwa atajitabulisha nayo kwa mungu kama sadaka yake ya dedication are we together? yes so when you appear before God you can give your material wealth as a sign of your dedication to the Lord and finally I want to say this you can dedicate yourself by making vows to God. You can dedicate yourself by a vow. Unaweza jikabithi kwa mungu. Unaweza jipeana kwa mungu. Kupitia nini? Eh? Vow. Kiapo. Useme neno. Na hii ni kama hile hana aliosema. Katika kitabu cha Samueli wa kwanza. Sura yake ya kwanza verse 28. First Samuel 1.28. Bibia sema ya kwamba. And Hannah said. If you give me a, a, a child, a boy child, I will return him to the temple. He will serve you all his days. Praise the name of the Lord. That is a vow. He bound himself or she bound herself with a vow. Nalide ya gano likawa ni kiapo kinacho mfunga kwa mungu. 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So wapendwa, leo nataka kufikisha pale, nimesema hivi karibuni nitafundisha jinsi ya kuvunja maagano ambao yanaweza wekwa ama vows ambazo zinaweza kuwa ziliwekwa katika maisha yako. So today as we bring ourselves into the presence of God, as we come to dedicate the year, we come to dedicate our resources, our blessings to God, our 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 favors to God, our children, our sons, our daughters. As we do this dedication it is good for you to know I am dedicating myself because it is the best that I can do. Wakati na jipeana kwa buwana, ninapo peana marizangu, ninapo peana vitu viangu, ninapo peana watoto, I am also creating a security for them. And I think that is a, a very important point to note as I wind up, you are creating a security for whatever you dedicate. It is secure. As I've quoted again, Paul said, whatever we can commit to God, he can keep to the very end. Kire ya mepewa, anawezo wakutunza mpaka mwisho. Kwa hivi ya wapendwa, ni wewe ujiamulie. Na tulisema ya kuamba siku ya leo. Enda uombe mungu akupe. Nitasimama mbere zake. Nimpe nini. Nimutore nini. Nikitugani na stahidi kudedicate. Ninini nastaka kupeana kwa mungu. Ni mwaka wangu. Ni maisha yangu, ni watoto wangu, ni mali zangu, ni vitu vyangu, ni vizuri ku dedicate bere za Bwana. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Inamisha uswa kumbere za Bwana. Father, we thank you and we honor you. As you bow your hand before God. Haikosi kuna kitu umesikia, you have understood a mystery, you have understood a secret, something that you did not know before. And now you understand. And it is time for us to say, God, I want to dedicate myself to you. I want to dedicate my, my wealth to you. I want to dedicate my children to you. I want to dedicate my body. Niache kupigana na hii magonjwa mchana na usiku. Nataka kupeana muidi wangu utoke kwa magonjwa. Ukapone. Nafsi yangu ikapone. Can you just talk to God concerning the areas that you feel you need a dedication to God? Nena na buwana. Mwambie buwana maeneo ha nimesikia nataka kujidedicate nataka kujipeana mikono ni mwako katika jina la Yesu Kristo somebody call on the name of the talk to God he hears and he answers prayer oh dedicate yourself can you surrender yourself to God can you surrender your life to him surrender your family to him surrender your resources to him surrender your blessings to him surrender your wealth to him surrender dedicate to him as you dedicate your surrendering to him I and you atakae linda atachunga ata hifadhi ata kuangalilia uzao wako ata kuangalilia mari yako ata kuhifadhia kiri ambacho ukonacho he is God and he is able to keep for he is our father I dedicate myself to you rakataya mazola bakande rena malaba sola bazaya Rakatena gosaba sande rebo zaida Rima tena kaso robo zoli basala mazaya When we dedicate ourselves to you Dedicate our seasons to you Dedicate our lives to you Dedicate our wealth Dedicate our blessings, our resources unto you We surrender my God We surrender because you are our father We surrender you are able to keep To the very end of our God I surrender my God. I release myself, my wealth, my blessings, my vehicles, my work, my God, my blessings, everything in my life. I desire to dedicate to you in the presence of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, simama kwa migu yako. Na unapo inuwa mikono yako mwambie buwana, I surrender. Ninajipeana kwako, ninajitoa kwako, najikabidhi kwako, na ilibwana nikakutumikie. Kama vile Joshua aliamua, I make a decision. I'll serve you with my resources, I'll serve you with my wealth, I'll serve you with my blessings, I'll serve you with my family, I'll serve you with what is given to me, I'll serve you in every place where I go, in every season of the year. I will serve you my God. I will serve you my Father. 
I'll serve you when I go to the mountains. And when I come to the valleys, I'll serve you. When I go to places far away from my own land, I will serve you, my God. I dedicate myself to you. I surrender everything to you, my God. I surrender my life to you. I surrender my blessings to you. Somebody continue to worship the Lord. There is something that is happening in this house right now. There is a grace of God that is increasing. Nema ya Bwana inawafikia. Wengine si Mungu wamefungua macho yako. Wengine si Mungu wamefanya ujielewe. Wengine si Mungu wanafanya ujue mambo unayostahili kuyafanya. Wapendwa, it is the will of God as we dedicate ourselves to God. As we dedicate our sons to God, as we dedicate our daughters to God, we and our children will serve the Lord. Mali zetu zitatumikia Mungu. Biashara zetu zitatumikia Mungu. Utajiri wetu utasam Jehova. Mambo yetu yatatumikia Mungu. Tunakataa kuwa na pesa za kutajirisha madaktari. Tunakataa kuwa na pesa za kutajirisha wengine. Tunakataa kuwa na mali ambazo ni za kutumiwa vibaya. Our resources will serve Jehovah. Our wealth will serve our God. Oh, makatala bagande. Reposila la kote basalaba. Rayona so katala bagande. We surrender to you. And we lay our lives unto you, God. Yes, my father. Oh, you are God. I surrender. I surrender to you. Oh. I surrender to you. King of glory. I surrender. I surrender. Oh. I surrender. Oh. Oh to thee my prince and savior. I surrender. Oh. I surrender. I surrender. Oh, I surrender. Oh, oh, to Thee, my Prince and Savior, I surrender. Lift up your hands before God. Sema e buwana Kutoka moyoni muangu Natangaza ya kwamba Wewe ndiwe mungu Mungu nitaka yetumikia Mimi na uzao wangu Mimi na mali yangu Mimi na mashamba yangu Utajiri wangu Ni wakukutumikia wewe Mwili wangu ni wakukutumikia ewe Mungu kila nilicho nacho ni cha kukutumikia leo nachagua wewe ndiwe Mungu nitakaye kuandama nitakaye kufuata nitakayeishi kwake katika jina la Yesu natangaza leo kila dedication ambayo ilifanywa juu ya maisha yangu juu ya mali zangu juu ya utajiri wangu juu ya nilivyo navyo ikaondolewe juu yangu maneno yalionenwa katika dedication ya kishetani ya uovu juu ya maisha
maisha yangu ikavunjike leo katika jina la Yesu every dedication of wickedness against my life against my money against my health i declare today you are broken in the name of the lord i dedicate myself to the living god i dedicate my body to the living god i dedicate my wealth to the living god i surrender my resources to serve the living god i declare my 2022 is dedicated to jehovah the month of january the month of february the month of march april and may june and july august and september october november and december all your days are dedicated to god and i declare in 2022 I will serve the living God. I will receive my resources, my wealth, my blessings in according to the word of the Lord. I declare today everything in my life will serve the living God. Everything in my house will serve the living God. Everything in my children born and unborn shall serve the living god watoto wangu hadi kizazi cha nne watamtumikia mungu mungu aishie milele mali zangu zile nimepata na zile nitapata zitamtumikia mungu katika jina la yesu kuanzia sasa natangaza ya kwamba mali yangu haitapotea natangaza mwili wangu hautaharibiwa natangaza akili zangu hazitachafuliwa natangaza siku zangu ni siku za baraka ni siku za ushindi katika jina la Yesu naomba na kuamini amen Somebody just celebrate the doing of the Lord in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you and we honor you because you are God. And I declare over your people so shall it be in accordance to your word. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. We can celebrate the Lord once more because he is God. Hallelujah. Amen. Sasa kwa wakati huu nataka tuwe na nafasi kete tu mahali uliko asante kwa wale ambao wenye kwenye mtandao kama ungetaka kuhusika pamoja nasi katika ibada hii ya dedication unataka kujidedicate ku dedicate vitu vyako mbele za Mungu unaweza fanya hivyo kupitia 0719727770 we will leave you at that 0719727770 is the number which you can use or you can go to the house mahali Mungu amekupea mahali unaabudia unaweza jitolea sadaka yako mbele za Bwana bora tu mtumishi wa Bwana anajua ni nini unafanya and dedicate yourself there to the living God or you can send it to the altar where you serve by the grace of God so God bless you so much but if you want to partake I've given you the number so shalom for those online we will leave you at that if you send your dedication we acknowledge it and we will appreciate whatever God and whatever you are doing and you can follow it with a text message about why or what you are dedicating to the Lord otherwise shalom God bless you so much. Amen. Kwa wale ambao